glad to see you again. I'm Teacher Agape from Ubasan Exodus, and I will teach you another wonderful and meaningful story from the Bible. We will prepare the materials that we will use later. First, kindly prepare your pencil or pen, glue, coloring materials and colored papers, popsicle sticks, and stickers. Have you prepared everything? Yes! Let's get started. As we always do, we will pray to God first. Let's close our eyes as a sign of respect and sincerity. Abba, Father our King, You are the living and almighty God. We are once again grateful for all the goodness You have given us. We are now once again asking You to guide us as we listen Your teachings. Give us enough knowledge so that we can understand the lesson You want to impart to us. This we humbly ask in Your name, God Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. How are you kids? Let us first review our lesson last Sunday. It was all about the journey of the people of Israel. The story highlighted the guidance of God to Israelites in their journey. Right? Yes! Like them, we are also in a journey. And God is always with us. He indeed provides our needs. Another story from the Bible will prove again that God is always watching over us and He provides our success. The wonderful story for today is Joshua and the Fall of Jericho from Joshua chapter 6. When Israelites cross the Jordan River, they have reached the town of Jericho. But this town is surrounded by high walls. How can they invade it? The Lord God provided a way for the people of Israel so they can enter Jericho. God told Joshua, I have given into your hand the city of Jericho, even the kings and warriors here. You will go around the entire Jericho. All male warriors will be circling once in the city. You will do it repeatedly for six days. The seven priests will carry seven horns before the ark. When they have blown the horn of the sheep for a long time and heard the sound of trumpet, all the people must loudly shout. The wall of Jericho will collapse and Israelites will continuously attack. These are what Israelites did. They went around the entire Jericho for six days. And on the seventh day, they went around it for seven times. The priest blew the trumpets. The people shouted with a great shout. And the walls of Jericho fell down flat. That was amazing, right kids? Yes! The Israelites has no other way to destroy those tall and solid walls of Jericho but to follow the Lord's command. Our God is truly powerful. He's the one who gives us victory. This is where a short story ends. The story was really good, isn't it? Yes! Now, let's discuss the morals of the lesson. First, like Joshua and Israelites did, we should follow God's way to succeed. Why do we need to follow God's will for us? We already heard this here on Pamana TV teachings as well as from our parents and Pamana teachers. When we obey God's command, we do what our parents say, we will surely succeed and we will not perish. Obedience also brings happiness and pleasure to our Lord God. This is also the way for us to achieve the promises from Him. Like the people of Israel, they faithfully obeyed the commands of God and as a result, they achieved success. 
And as Joshua, we should be an obedient and good leader in service of the Most High God. Second, let's also remember that God is Almighty and He is the one who gives our success. We can't do nothing on our own unless Lord God helps us. Therefore, when we achieve something in life, it is because He helps us. And we should always be thankful to Him. These are the morals we should learn from the story we just have heard. That's it, kids! I know you enjoyed listening. For our activity, we will make a frame using your popsicle sticks, coloring materials, colored papers, glue, and stickers. Inside the frame, you will write the verse Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 that states, I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. I also encourage everyone to please memorize the verse and you can also pause the video while working with your activity. Hooray! Thanks to all of you. And finally, you finished your nice activity. I hope you did not just heard and wrote it on the paper, but of course you will try your very best to do it. Okay? Okay! For the last part, we will have our closing prayer. Let's all close our eyes. Abba, our most heavenly God, you are the powerful and gracious Father. We are truly grateful of all the things you've given to us. We hope that you will continue to guide us until we grow up. Please help us, O Lord, to become obedient to you and our parents. May you see us continuing to serve you always and forever. All this we humbly ask and give thanks to you in your holy name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you so much, kids. You always make me and all Pamana teachers proud of you. Thank you for being attentive and for showing eagerness throughout our gathering. I'm so excited to be with you again. Stay safe. See you next time and goodbye! Bispana, bispana, bispana muna Sa buru kong nagpapagal Bispana, bispana, bispana muna Bispana, bispana Bispana, bispana, bispana muna Bispana, bispana Bispa, 